Thank you, Mr. Beasley. And the gentleman from Texas, another gentleman from Texas, Mr. Babin, is recognized. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate it. Um, and Chairman Craddock, uh, thank you for your leadership. Thank you, all, all you witnesses, for, for being here today. But thank you, uh, uh, Ms. Craddock, to, uh, for your, your leadership with the Railroad Commission of Texas. Uh, you know, Texas has provided uh, about 50 percent of the jobs in this country over the last six years. And I think uh, fracking has been a huge contributor to that uh, in more ways than one. Uh, but I represent the, te the 36th district in Texas, in southeast Texas. Uh, there was an incident in, tw in 2012 where an individual claimed that the water from their, their garden hose lit on fire. As it turned out, a Texas district court found that the individual had coordinated this stunt with an environmental activist to deceive. Uh, in this case, the garden hose was attached to the gas line. Uh, how, does the, how does your commission respond to these types of, uh, of claims when you hear about this? If somebody complains that they believe that a, a well has and their water is on fire, right. we're going to go out there and inspect it first and foremost, right. uh, get the facts. If there really is a problem, we are going to uh, penalize and enforce, make sure, one, there's remediation for the problem, and two, then penalize or enforce the rules that we have available to us. Okay, well, as far as uh, the actual number of legitimate uh, incidents of concern, uh, perhaps only a handful from what, from what I can read uh, out of studies. How do we put these risks into perspective with the enormous economic and societal benefits of hydraulic fracking technology? You know, historically, we've drilled over a million wells in, in the state of Texas, and we take all of those seriously. We have four, over 400,000 that are active wells that we are regulating as we speak. And yeah. part of our real challenge is to make sure we're out inspecting and enforcing our rules, but to make sure we're also doing it on a reasonable basis, that there are good rules in place, people know the rules, uh, but to also make sure there are facts involved. And I think we're a Bad. very fact-based fact -based agency. Uh, we have good rules, I believe. Okay. Well, thank you very much, thank Mr. You. Chairman. I know we have to go vote. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Babin. Uh, let me thank all of our witnesses.